if I s took myself out of the picture for a second and said, is this me? Is this what I would do? Is this the way I would record this session? And I'd say, no, it's not at all. It's, n it's nothing like I would do. And yet I was able to achieve that and accomplish that, please the client, please my engineer, um, but doing something that I don't normally do. But it made me realize that there's certain things that in recording I gravitate towards. And I think that that's true as well in uh, my equipment design, that there's a certain sound I have in mind that's right for me, that what I want to hear. And that's what I always go for in the design of the equipment. So even though you may not like what I do or you would do something completely different, uh, we can all learn from each other. And it's really important that we expose ourselves to many different techniques and options and approaches to these things so that we can uh, you know, develop our own style in the best possible way. Let's talk for a minute about the setup that we have here today so you'll know exactly how we're doing this. The original tracks are on Pro Tools. What I did was I took mixes of the four tunes that we're going to use today and I uh, bounced them down to a two-track mix without any processing on the, on the mix bus. So I have all four of them ready to go. And then as an insert on the master fader on that Pro Tools session, I have the VT7 compressor, and then from that into the VT5 equalizer, and then back into Pro Tools. And that's the way um, you would normally do it, or at least the way I do it when uh, doing a, a project like this. Today, it's a little bit different because we're uh, recording the audio for this track on a Radar 24 system, um, just because it's much easier for me to sync that with the video. And um, what I've done is taken the voice track, which is being recorded uh, through a Bach 251 mic, which you may be able to see in the edge of the frame here, through a VT2 mic preamp right here, and from that um, into the Radar. That's our my voiceover track. The uh, audio track from the mix after the processing is going to two other tracks on the radar. Now, when we play back the tracks, I need to be able to hear them in order to adjust the uh, controls here so that I can demonstrate what I want you to hear about it. If I do that with monitor speakers in the room, a certain amount of it's going to be picked up by this mic. I have it set to minimize that pickup, but you're still going to hear some. It's going to change the sound of it. So when we get to those portions where you need to be able to hear it cleanly, you know, I will eliminate this live track and do some voiceover tracks to explain what's going on, just so you understand how we're doing this today. The first song that we're going to